Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he said, taking a knee and that's the 25 yard line First and ten. Picks. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Fifteen yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. They just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. To throw on second down. Hicks. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll make it third down. Off play action. Hicks. Escaping the pressure right. And he fires one, but incomplete. 
And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. for the football and he's going to come down with it and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 he got 29 yards that time so one play and they're already just shy gun, of midfield gun. Gun, gun. Now let's go. Green. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down and down he goes brought down a Raiders sack you never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now Mayfield. And this one complete to Will Fuller. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Here's Mayfield, forced out to his left. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That goes for a gain of 31. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Johnson and he is into the end zone for a touchdown Duke Johnson his fourth touchdown on the year and his guys have taken a first quarter lead Gonzalez good on the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing Gonzalez now to kick this one away That's fielded in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now they'll run it on the toss. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Here's a carry now for Keith Marshall. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. 
Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. And they've taken care of that early. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second Ohio. and 11. Ohio! 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 Ah Operating from the gun. Picks. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And this passing game, this whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. On third down, Hicks. And this is going to be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And here now the offense heading back out there. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. First down throw from Mayfield. He's going to let this one go deep. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Second down throw for Mayfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Will Fuller was the intended target, and it's third down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten to throw Mayfield. And the third down pass falls incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. 
We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Now Marshall. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football, and they've got it here with a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Ah! On first down, picks. Left side complete, Safarian Jenkins. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Ohio! Ohio! Hey. From the gun, Hicks. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's go! White 90! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Inside the 20 at the 19. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. Now they'll run it on the toss, and they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. They'll run with Marshall. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. 
Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. touchdown on the season and the Raiders they've been an extra point of tying this thing up point after right down the middle and we are tied at seven So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. down Mayfield he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete so he can't hang on and as I watch that unfold I remembered an expression that I've heard maybe from you I don't know but you're going to get hit anyways might as well hold on to the ball all right you know a coach <laughs> said that right yeah. not an actual player not a chance at all way easier said than done all right here we go green 39 green 39 throwing again Mayfield on second and 10 they shakes him off Flush to his right. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. First carry for Donnell Pumphrey. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Hurry up, here we go. Green. Mayfield now on second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First and ten, Mayfield. This will be caught inside the ten. 
23 yards on the play. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front that buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39, green 39. Throwing Mayfield. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? To him running left, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Duke Johnson with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And his guys are able to strike for six. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and some room to maneuver. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. With an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, he made the right choice by result. But a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 14 seconds, all that's left in this first the half as they come up on first down. All right, here we go. 3 19. Mayfield. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And that's off the left upright, but it caroms right in. How about that? The kick is good. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. To Vecchio now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And what a return. Great field position all the way out to the 48-yard line. Well, fit me for a neck brace, partner. One kickoff return in one direction for a touchdown, and the other one, they almost broke going back the other way. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Throw left side complete. It's Fuller. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. Three, 
So first and 10 now from the 30. Working out of the gun, Mayfield underneath for Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Hurry up, here we go. Blue 90. Blue 90. They'll run it now out of the gun. So he got three and one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Gonzalez to add the PAT. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Spins away. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Throwing on first down. Hicks steps away to his left. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. for 24 and a first. At halftime, you had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. Marshall. Now he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. 
That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now a first carry for their fullback. Tackled that time by Jerome Baker out of Ohio State. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here now, Johnny Townsend as he's on to punt for Oakland. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Play fake here on first down. And the Raiders have got him. The Sun Reddick in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability go on, go on. and a sack resulted. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go Let's now go. on second down. Wait, Mayfield now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They have certainly looked his way in this third quarter. Another catch, and it's good for a first down. This quarterback now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. Field to throw it. Diluting the pressure right. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth.
Sports Field looks to throw. They still can't. That eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. All right, here we go. 319! 319! He'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Hassan Reddick in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Gun, 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 gun. Back to throw here. And he finds a man with a crossing route. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find Detroit! him. Find Detroit! him. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. There you go now. Green, 39. Green. On second down, Mayfield again. Flushed out right. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. Detroit! Detroit! They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield escaping the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was staying in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mayfield with it once more. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Fuller. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. They'll give it to him up the middle. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Second down, Mayfield. Flush to his right. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Able to get nine out of that pitch and catch, but now third and goal. And, boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. 
But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. It's Pumphrey on the toss. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this draft. They need points. Big time. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And some room to run now. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown. Oh, now on the year. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Mayfield on play action, sliding out of the pocket. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a toss play, this is Pumphrey. And they're gonna lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Gotta figure the rush is gonna be fierce again as they come up second and 13. Again, it's Pumphrey, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Now, Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. 
Mayfield to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Obi Malafonwu. And this one will be brought back to the 22. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside of the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. You gotta know that you're open, otherwise, just don't do it. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Black round! Black round! <laughs> On first and 10, Hicks dancing to his left. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. First down now, but that clock rolling. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Now this offense ready to head back out there. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it is what you practice for in winning situations each and every week. Victory formation, take a knee and go out into the locker room and celebrate. Call it a victory. Johnson got some real estate inside the 30. And finally down at the 